Kennedy? Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, he's been he's been down a little bit, hasn't had his best basketball game. But to come in and get a double double and be a beast on the backboard is exactly what we needed from him. And for him to bounce back in this game where we really, really needed him, uh, shows a lot about Kennedy and his character. What's the feeling just going in here? You never never went here until tonight. What's the feeling? It feels good. It feels good. Uh, I was taking it all in when I was going to the free throw line the last two trips. Uh, you know, I know I didn't play very well, but uh, you know, I'm so happy that we were winning. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just, you know, to finally get over the hump in Cameron. You know, last year was the year we, we thought we were going to do it up 10 with three minutes left. This year we're up nine with three minutes left. Same situation. And we were able to pull it out and close it out. So that's a, that's a great feeling. What did you see when you took it all in? You said you were taking it all in when you went to the line that last time? Uh, well, I saw it. Yeah, so I knocked down the free throws. Uh, and I didn't really care what they did in the second and a half left. I saw my family right behind the bench. Saw my teammates. Just so much joy. Saw Bryce after the effort he's given us all year. Uh, you know, one of the four or five best players in the country this year. You know, he's in tears. Uh, we finally did it. You know, that's the only thing I think in my mind. Like a huge monkey off my back. We finally overcame everything. Finally proved all the doubters wrong. Finally did it for us and, and this group. So I was just so happy. Happy uh, that we were able to finally close it out. That I, you know, I don't really have words to, to describe. It. I'm sorry, you've already been asked this before, but I probably have but it's all good. <laughs> many times tonight. The ball in your hands, those free throws late. Kind of what, just take me through, through what you were thinking, anything you said to yourself. Yeah. I didn't say anything to myself. I knew those were going in. Uh, you know, I had, that was my chance to, you know, put the game away after not playing very well, not having a great floor game or anything like that. But I'm a boss, apparently. <laughs> uh, no, I just knew uh, I had a lot of confidence in that moment. My teammates were looking at me and, uh, when we huddled up, and they were like, yo, we're good. Like, just knock these in. So I did it for them. And, uh, you know, I did it for Bryce. <laughs> you know, after the type of performance he had, he, we needed to win this game. He said that there was no person that they'd rather have on the line than you in that situation. And he said it was fitting and it was for you. You need to be the guy to seal the thing. Yeah, he told me. He was like, Marcus, you need to go get the ball. Uh, so I tried to bet, tried my best to make myself available. Uh, and my teammates have all the confidence in the world in me. So when I went to the line, I think that gave them a lot of confidence as well as myself. So. How about Joel's two? He had the two before you. Yeah, Joel, Joel had a big time game. He had a huge three. Uh, you know, they, they said going into this game, Carolina's got to shoot better than, uh, you know, whatever we shot last game from three. And I don't think we shot a whole lot better than that today. Um, but we made it when it counted. Joel hit a big time three. And then, uh, you know, we iced the game with the free throw line. So um, I think we were 20 for 23 as a team. So I think that, that shows you right there. I ask a lot of growth questions, but have you guys grown since the last two game? Yeah, definitely. How um, much? In what ways? It seems like there's you guys there's are more, more connected. There's some more resolve. Uh, we have a better sense of what we need to do to win each individual game. Today, we had to stop the drive. You know, we gave up a lot of threes, but last last game, they killed us on dribble penetration and getting our bigs in foul trouble and, you know, breaking down our box outs and everything like that. This this game, we were able to con contain them and make them shoot tough shots, which they made a lot of them. But uh, we executed our scheme the way we wanted to, and I think that shows a lot of toughness. Last result. question, how important was it that you guys were worked very good defensively in the first 10 minutes of the, of the game? Did it give you a lot more confidence that you could do? Because I know there was a lot of talk about the, the help side defense and yeah. when to come over, and that was an issue in the last game. Yeah, it was it's effective important. in the first time. Yeah, it was important. We changed our, you know, you didn't see us denying a lot of passes today. We we took a more cautious approach to how we would defend them to kind of cut off driving angles so we could just close out better to shooters, uh, which we did do a great job of closing out. Well, that's a different story. Uh, but we held them to a low percentage and got into a defensive rhythm early, and that's important on the road, especially at Cameron, at places like UVA. you got to get into a rhythm early, uh, and that was the difference today.